Hi, I am Ajit Virkud, Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology from Mumbai. Hello citizens of the internet. Today I am going to explain to you sinusoidal pattern, a pattern which is rarely seen on electronic fetal heart rate monitoring. In 1972, Mansau and Kubli et al. described an undulating waveform alternating with a flat or smooth baseline fetal heart rate. In severely affected RH sensitized and dying fetuses, that is hydrops fetuses. This fetal heart rate pattern was called sinusoidal because of its sine waveform. As shown in this animation, sinusoidal pattern is a regular oscillation of the baseline fetal heart rate that resembles a sine wave. It is a smooth undulating pattern lasting for at least 10 minutes with a frequency of 3 to 5 cycles per minute and an amplitude of 5 to 15 beats per minute above or below the baseline. Baseline variability is absent and the sinus waveform may be confused with good baseline variability. Sinusoidal pattern can be caused by physiological or pathological causes. The physiological causes are fetal sleep cycles, thumb sucking and rhythmic movements of fetal mouth. The pathological causes are severe fetal anemia of different etiologies, effect of drugs particularly narcotics, fetal asphyxia or hypoxia, fetal infection and fetal cardiac anomalies. Since the commonest cause of sinusoidal pattern is severe fetal anemia, I am going to discuss it in more detail. Remember, if fetal bleeding is less than 5%, there is no change in electronic fetal heart rate tracing because of compensatory mechanisms going into action. If fetal hemorrhage is 5 to 20%, there is diminished fetal movement, increased fetal heart rate variability, and fetal tachycardia owing to hypovolemia inducing stimulation of fetal baroreceptors and stretch receptors in the atrium. However, if the fetal bleeding is greater than 20%, there will be compensatory vasoconstriction to conserve blood to vital organs like heart and adrenals, resulting in severe tachycardia that is greater than 200 beats per minute. This is manifested on the electronic fetal heart rate tracing as a solitary fetal heart rate pattern. The oscillations are of greater than 25 beats per minute with absence of both short and long term variability. However, if the fetal bleeding is severe, that is greater than 50%, this will result in fixed baseline fetal tachycardia greater than 200 beats per minute owing to vasoconstriction. Short term and long term variability are loss. This is what we call a sinusoidal fetal heart rate pattern. The exact pathophysiology of sinusoidal pattern is not fully understood. It may denote autonomic nervous system dysfunction. One way to differentiate between physiological or pathological causes of sinusoidal pattern is to perform fetal stimulation by digital pressure or per vaginal examination. This will wake the baby and result in fetal heart rate acceleration that is disappearance of the sinusoidal pattern if the cause is physiological. So what is the significance of a sinusoidal pattern if seen on an electronic fetal heart rate tracing? A true sinusoidal pattern in the absence of physiological causes is an ominous sign of fetal geopardy needing immediate intervention. The correct diagnosis 
of a true sinusoidal heart rate pattern should also include fetal biophysical profile and the absence of drugs such as narcotics. This brings me to the end of my short e-lecture on sinusoidal pattern. Please watch my other videos on electronic fetal heart rate monitoring. The links are given below. For further reading on this topic and other topics in obstetrics and gynecology, please refer to the following books written by me. Practical Obstetrics and Gynecology Modern Obstetrics Modern Gynecology Clinical Cases in Obstetrics Questions and Answers Clinical Cases in Gynecology Questions and Answers and Pelvic Reconstructive Surgery Don't forget to subscribe to my new channel called Modern OBGYN.